What's up my comic comrades, DC Fandom is back this weekend and the event promises a crap ton of big reveals. And among them will be our first look at footage of The Rock's highly anticipated Black Adam movie. Something I'm sure we'll all be watching over and over because he's one of DC's most powerful villains slash anti-heroes and it's likely going to be insane. Especially considering members of the JSA like Dr. Fate and Hawkman will also be making appearances. So with that in mind we wanted to get the party started a little early with a breakdown of Black Adam's comic book origin. But enough chit chat, let's dive in. Black Adam first appeared in the Marvel Family issue 1 in December of 1945. He was created by Otto Binder and C.C. Beck. Now there have been a few different retellings of Black Adam's origin over the years, but we're going to be focusing on his Jeff Johns origin given to us in Shazam Volume 1 from the New 52. Shazam's DCEU origin was heavily inspired from this comic, so one would assume Black Adam's DCEU origin will heavily pull from it as well, which is one of the main reasons we're focusing on this one. That and it's just downright good. Anyway, in Shazam Volume 1, after Billy has been bestowed his powers by the great wizard Shazam, we see him talking to Francesca, who a magical mirror bean residing in the Rock of Eternity that assists Shazam as needed. And only Shazam can see and hear her. Well, that's kind of a lie because Metron can too, but they're the only two. We see him talking to Francesca saying, look, I need to get back to see if the wizard is still alive. If he is, he can take these powers back and give them to someone who knows what they're doing. Francesca tells them, even if he were still alive, once the wizard bestows the connection to the living lightning, it cannot be severed. That's why Black Adam still holds the power. That's why you are the only one left to stop him. Billy asks, well, who the hell is he anyway? What does he want? Francesca tells him, look deeply into the mirror and I'll show you. We are then brought back in time where Billy says, where are we? She tells him, it's not where we are, Billy Batson, it's what you see. And what what you see is the ancient world, the country of Kondok, birthplace of the living lightning and the wizard who bestowed your powers upon you. It was years after the wizard had escaped Kondok's brutality, if he had stayed he would have been enslaved as this boy was. A boy among thousands of other men, women and children, who had been captured by the invading forces of the barbaric Ibak and his evil army, the men who invented evil. For months this boy was among the many sent down into the caves to work. When he collapsed because of the heat or exhaustion, he suffered at the hands of Ibak's men. Many times he wished himself dead, he closed his eyes and wished for help, and finally help came, as we see him bash the back of one of Ibex's men's head in with a rock. The man then goes over to the boy saying, Amon, have I finally found you? The boy answers, Uncle, where are mother and father? The uncle looks at his nephew saying, I'm sorry, my sister and your father, they are. And before he could say dead, one of Ibex's men stabs him in the side. But the boy's uncle turns around and starts fighting the man, telling his nephew, run Amon, go. Francesca continues to say the boy's uncle had given a young slave an opportunity to escape, but the boy stayed with his dying uncle, telling his uncle, I will not leave you. His uncle says they are coming and I have led us to nowhere. I am sorry, the gods have abandoned Kondok and us. And at that very moment, lightning strikes both of them. And then on the next page, we see the boy appear at the Rock of Eternity where the wizard says, hello child. At this point, Billy says, a kid like me? No wonder the wizard didn't want me to have these powers. As he runs out to confront Black Adam saying, I saw what you went through, Adam. I thought I had it bad, but you had it worse. I know why you're lashing out at people. You want to hurt them before they can hurt you. And I know why you're angry, because you're trying to hide how scared you really are. Black Adam then grabs Billy by the mouth saying, you think I'm scared? You don't know anything. You speak of anger and fear? You dare confront me about such things? You are foolish. You are a foolish little child. Why would the wizard ever choose you? He should have learned his lesson. It would have saved your life, as Black Adam uses his powers to finish telling Billy the rest of his origin. We are then taken back to the Rock of Eternity where the wizard tells Amon, we are the Council of Eternity. Amon, you are within the Rock of Eternity. Black Adam then asks Billy, do you see the Rock of Eternity as it once was? A fortress invisible to the world, a nexus of the magic realms, which all sorcerers and sorceresses made pilgrimage. And a boy had been summoned there. Each member of the council chose someone to be their champion. He was to be the wizards. We then see as the wizard is talking to the boy, a voice says, Amon. He then turns around and sees his uncle and runs over to him. Black Adam then says the wizard had given the boy a proposal. The boy gave one back to him. As we see the boy ask, you must save him, wizard. Please, he's the only family I have left. The wizard then tells him, your power may flow through family, Amon. Accept my blessing and you may save him. Both of you speak my name and be my champion. At which point they both say Shazam and are bestowed the wizard's powers. Black Adam then tells us, sharing the power, the boy saved his uncle. The boy and his uncle were then sent back to Kondok to save its people from their captors. Back in Kondok, the uncle tells his nephew, with this power, we will finally free Kondok from Ibak and his men, Amon. We will destroy them. But Amon says, I don't want to destroy anyone, uncle. There has been too much bloodshed already. You heard the wizard. It's time for a new era in Kondok, one of mercy. The uncle then says, we must do this for your parents, for my wife and children. Our family calls for justice. The boy then says, what you speak of is not justice, uncle. 
it is revenge. The uncle then says with tears in his eyes, they must pay. The boy then hugs his uncle saying, let us share our hope, not our pain. At this point, the uncle with tears in his eyes wraps his hand around the back of his nephew's head with the boy saying, please don't be angry with me. I love you, Uncle Adam. We could save Ibak and his men from the evil that threatened their souls. We could save them just as we were saved. And we could do it together. As the boy looks up and they both say Shazam, the uncle puts his hand over his nephew's face, killing him before the lightning hits him, stealing all the power they once shared. The comic then takes us back to the present where Black Adam is holding Billy Batson's face saying, you see now what I will do to free this world from those who enslave it. Basically telling Billy, I'm willing to kill my own family to free the world from those who enslave it. Black Adam goes on to say, my nephew's sacrifice allowed me to free Kondok. Now yours will allow me to free the entire world. Now obviously after this, Shazam and the Shazam family would go on to fight him. But there you have it guys, Black Adam's modern origin. I personally love this take of his origin and think it was really clever that the whole time you think the boy Amano is going to end up being Black Adam, but in the end we realize it's his uncle who ends up becoming Black Adam. And killed his nephew to do so. So if The Rock's Black Adam origin is anything like this, we're going to be off to a great start. Now normally we give you guys a brief rundown of the character's powers and abilities in our Origins episode, but with the Black Adam movie coming so soon, we'll be doing a full-on History of episode for Black Adam around the release of the film, which is likely going to be massive. In the meantime, here are some reading recommendations to hold you over until then. Check out Black Adam, The Dark Age, JSA Black Vengeance, JSA Black Adam and Isis, Shazam Volume 1 from the New 52, and finally, JSA Black Rain. First up for the week of October 13th, we have the amazing Spider-Man issue 76. Marvel is telling us that in this issue, the unthinkable happens and it will remind us why we love and hate comic books. Next up, we have Power Rangers issue 12. The Omega Rangers try to reach the Spectrum 2, but Draken has other plans that will cost them dearly. And finally, we have Batman 89 issue 3. As the fire rages at Royal Auto, Harvey Dent lies trapped inside, unconscious and in danger. Can Bruce Wayne get to Harvey in time or will the district attorney leave burned in more ways than one? And that's gonna bring today's episode of Variant to a close, but if you like today's video be sure to check out this one right here and if you like all of our content be sure to subscribe like and comment it always helps the channel out but other than that i'll see you guys next time when i talk about all things comics